Welcome back to my online video tutorial series app day. End of this video, you should know how to draw this uh, 2005 CSEC past paper question. For this video, I will be drawing the boundary lines on the driveway. In the subsequent video, I'll be showing you how to establish setback and align building on the plot. Uh, the first thing to do here, based on the nature of this paper, uh, the first point seems to be 45 degrees from the north. So I will start by drawing my line 45, degree, 45 degrees. Um, for this part particular question, you don't necessarily need to know bearings. Yeah, you really don't. You can manipulate lines and angles to get this. What I also realize is that the length of the side on the past paper is not correct. The past paper has a dimension of, I think it's 2,785, but this works out to be 33,086. It means that the dimension given on this drawing for this side is not correct. As the side here, this side, all the angles and sides are consistent with what is on the paper, except for this side. So let's get started. So I've already established my vertical or my north sword pole in this case. The next step is to draw a line. And uh, this line, I will start this line off at 45 degrees. I assume this to be 45 degrees based on its position relative to the north. So I will draw this line at 45 degrees northeast. So I engage line, L, enter, specify my start point, which is here. I would then, I should first change my outline layer or my boundary line. In this case, I will use a regular line as I haven't draw established uh, boundary line as yet. So I'll specify my first point. Okay. So I'm using that as my line with thickness. So let's go back to line L, enter. Start point would be here, left click here. Then I have a moving in this direction. The length of this line is 17,000. So um, 17, one, two, three. I would then hit the tab key to change from dimension to degree. And um, for this, I'm gonna use 45, four to five, four five, enter. And uh, you will realize that I'm using, I'm using standard here I'm using standard, standard angles for this, right? Um, my next point, next step is to, so I've established this line here, yeah? I could then draw this line first or this line, it doesn't really matter. So to draw this line, what I'm gonna do is to rotate this at an angle of so for that, I hit line, I hit rotate, I click, well, type RO for rotate, enter. I then left click line to be rotated. Once it turns blue, I hit enter. I then to split my base point, I left click here for my base point. It will then ask me to select rotation angle. In this case, I want to copy. I want to copy this, so I click on copy. It will then, with copy, it, it, it rotates, it creates an, uh, a second line at an angle. It doesn't erase the first line. So my next step is to enter the angle, which is 132. Enter. And this draws this line at an angle of 132 degrees from the original. Now, my next step is to draw this line, is to change the length of this line to 
to the, to the length of the second line, which is 23,847. But that I click line, then I type Lenten, L-E-N-G, Lenten, enter. Uh, what Lenten does, Lenten allow me to manipulate the length of this line. So I'm gonna change the total, total. The total length that I want this line to be is 23,847. It's already entered to accept that. I then need to select the end of the line which I need to lengthen. So I click here once, and this line is now the length that I want it to be, the total length. I click escape. First side done. I could then draw this side down here, all right? And um, for that, I'm gonna first draw this line from here using the given length, but a random angle. So I engage line, L, enter. Click here as my start point. And uh, the length here is 20,000. 20,585. Enter, enter. Now, this, the length of this is random. However, the angle on this is 90 degrees. I'm going to use a feature which is called, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> geometric constraint. Yes, GC. So I'm going to type GC perpendicular, enter. I then select the first line, then the second line. And what that does, that draws the second line perpendicular to the first line. I can then move this line to the end point here. So I click that line, M for move, enter. Click here as my base point, move to this location. So I have that line. I could then Draw the, I could then um, draw a line from here to there, or I could rotate this line at an angle of 53 degrees, right? So again, I'm gonna rotate R, O, enter. Select line to be rotated, this, enter. Specify the base point, left click here, and the rotation angle in this case, the book has it as 53 degrees. So I type 53 to copy, rotate with copy. Again, I go RO for rotate, enter, select object, enter, specify the base point, which is here, left click here. Then I type C for copy, then enter 53, 53, enter and there we go now our next step is to extend this line to this point here All right uh yeah so this line should meet here i could use fillet or i could extend that line from there to there so fillet f no fillet might cause some problem so let me, well, if we were to draw this line to the length given in the book, you would realize that the length, this, this, will, this is incorrect, all right? So I'm gonna extend this line out to this, to this point, extend this from here, down to that point there. All right, that's one way. Or we could also we could lengthen this line to the, given length in the book, which is 27,850, all right? Let's check to see if this is correct. Let us establish our dimensions. So we, D, enter, close. Let's go to dimension, align dimension, change your dimension, layer click here there that is 20,000 that is correct 
two times, click this, move out. 17,000 space bar, two times, click, move. So we have that dimension. Now, to prove if this is correct, we would need to click, we, we, we would need to draw these angles. So we go up to align, change the dimension first, change the text, um, uh, dimension here. Yeah. Let's go to angle, click here, angle, that side, that side, that is 90, space bar, click, Click, that is 132, space bar, click, click, this is 53. So you can see that here, this length, all three lengths and angles are as given, but the length of the side is not what it's stated in the book. All right. Now that we have done this, our next step is to copy, it would, would be to draw your, um, your, your beacons, beacons, or your um, corner markers. Well, to do that, you draw circle C, enter, space bar to reactivate, draw another circle. We then draw a line through these, line L, enter. Enter, space bar. Enter, then we delete this one, delete. So we'd copy these. Well, I wanna change this from this layer to a different layer. So match property, M, A, enter. Probably use this. Highlight this. Change that. Escape. Copy. C O. Enter. Select object to be copied. This. Enter. Specify the base point. Left click in the middle. Then drop this at all corners. One there. Another point here. One more point here. Next point here, escape. So to enter our roadway, we could offset this line, offset. So we offset O enter, O enter. And um, I think this roadway, we we'll let this roadway be 3,500, 3,500 or 3,000. That would be our roadway, All right? We could lengthen this. Lend this a little bit. We could also lengthen here a bit. Escape. And we could, could copy this. C, well, um, offset, O, enter, offset distance, that, click here, there. So we have a second line there. We could then, you could, you could um, add some curve to this earlier or, um, for now, I let this stay as is. I'm gonna engage line L, enter, line here. I should have changed this line to probably construction. Then I'm gonna L again, L, enter. Click here, click there, there, there. Enter, trim, T, R, enter, enter. Put 
clean that up nicely. You do the same thing down here. You could establish your center line also. Draw a line in the center here. L, enter. You could use middle of two points, M, to P, enter. Click here. Click on the other side. Middle of two points here again. M to P, enter. Click here. Click there. That is drawn there. You could use match property to copy this line. C O C, well, M A, sorry. M A, enter. Click the source, then go across to this line. That would be that. Um, you would probably enter your walkway. I'll stop this video for now. That's not really very important.